Good morning. It is 5 a.m. Friday here in Manila. I'm Rain Musungi with your first look at the news. The ceasefire between Israel and Hamas ruled Gaza seems to be holding up almost a day after being declared, but many Filipinos in Tel Aviv remain cautious, saying many truce agreements in the past have failed. The Foreign Affairs Department says they will still assist Filipinos who wish to be moved from Gaza despite the ceasefire. The DFA said 27 Filipinos in Gaza have expressed willingness to be repatriated, while 43 want to be temporarily relocated. He says all Filipinos there are accounted for. Back here at home, the Commission on Elections denies the black and white movement's application to join next year's party list race. Voting 5-2, to two, the Comelec says black and white failed to prove it represents the marginalized sectors of women, urban poor and the youth. The group will appeal its disqualification before the Supreme Court. The Commission on Audit is looking into another multi-million peso fund scam, this time involving the Malampaya gas project. Fishermen from Pampanga are meantime wondering how their names and signatures appeared on a list of beneficiaries of seeds and farming tools. The Department of Environment and Natural Resources junks the appeal of Philex against the 1 billion peso fine over the spill from its mine tailings last August. Business confidence for the fourth quarter rose to its second highest level on record since 2006. BSP Assistant Governor Saituanyo Amador says expectations of a credit rating upgrade and the strong economic growth in the first half of 6.1 percent boosted confidence. Taking a look at the world markets now, global shares extend a week-long rally Thursday as manufacturing surveys in China and the United States boosted confidence in global growth. The FTSE 100, Paris's CAC 40 and Frankfurt's DAX all picked up between 6 to 7 tenths of a percent. Asian markets outside the Philippines rose thanks to improving U.S. jobs data and a survey by HSBC showing manufacturing in China expanded for the first time in 13 months. Prosecutors blame defense lawyers for the slow pace of justice for Maguindano massacre victims three years after the tragedy. For lawyers for the 196 people accused, led by Antal Lapatuan Jr., say they are only concerned about the rights of the suspects. Relatives of Maguindano massacre victims commemorate today the third year since the gruesome killings occurred. As time passes, they are getting more and more dismayed with a lack of progress on the case. The World Bank finds the Philippines among the top countries most at risk from the effects of climate change. The government says climate proofing efforts have begun, but the lender warns of quickly worsening conditions from global warming. In sports, Japheth Aguilar's dream of becoming the first Filipino to play in the NBA ends for now. Former PBA top pick was waived by the Santa Cruz Warriors, one of the, of the NBA Developmental League. Two Filipinos are recognized among the ten outstanding young persons of the world. In the 30th Junior Chamber International World Congress in Taipei, Taiwan, Dr. Edsel Salvania and Bam Aquino received the honors for their personal advocacies. Aquino and his group received the award for the Happy Noi program, which helps provide livelihood to women. Salvania was cited for education and campaign against HIV AIDS. And that was your first look at the top stories this Friday, the 23rd of November, 2012. I'm Rain Musni. Thank you for staying ahead with ANC and happy weekend.